Have you ever been stuck outside the house because you forgot your keys? Or had somebody that you're living with, your family, your friends, who forgot their keys and they're stuck outside your house waiting for you to get home? Well, apparently, this is something that might be a thing of the past. I'm here at Electronica 2024 on the SC Microelectronics booth with Benjamin, one of our technical marketing experts. Hi Benjamin, how's it going? Hi Sarah, I'm fine and you? I'm very good, thank you. Now, smart locks. They're yeah. going to solve a lot of problems for us apparently. Here in ST, we are developing building blocks for uh, smart lock technology. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a lot of technologies that can apply to this use case. Yeah. Um, and this is used to make a reference design, a proof of concepts in order to present what we can do as a smart lock. Okay. But mm -hmm. well, what is a smart lock, Benjamin? First of all, let's just go back up high level. I'm here. I'm stuck outside my house. How is a smart lock going to make my life better? So. This is your life better because instead of having a traditional key to open your door, yeah. you will have a, your smartphone. It will okay. hold what we call a digital key. All right, and okay. this digital key will help you to open your lock. Okay, so the, the phone, it's in my pocket, it's in my handbag yeah. or whatever. My, for me, it's always a nightmare. I can never find my car, my keys, my house yeah. keys, right? So this is going to just be in my pocket yeah. and I can just what, come up to my door and it's going to open my door for me? Exactly. You just it's unlock your door. <laughs> you unlock your phone and you present in front of your door lock. Yeah. It will authenticate your phone, okay. verify that it's you and yes. you can access to your house and it will open the door. Wow, okay, I'm sold, right? I want yeah. this, I want it now. Okay, but <laughs> just one thing, it's security. I just sort of feel like, is it going to be secure enough? Yes, because uh, in ST we are uh, making a security products since 30 years now. And uh, we have a good now of the cryptographic algorithm, how to use them, how to, uh, uh, to implement them in yeah. a secure way. Okay. And we're making secure elements in order to harden the security of this kind of application. Right, okay. And in smartphone, you already have a secure element because okay. uh, you can pay with your smartphone and that means you have a pretty good level of security inside. So okay. we can leverage this kind of technology in order to ensure that uh, you have a, a pretty good security to open your, uh, your smart lock. Okay, okay. So yeah, security is definitely something I think would be a major concern for people when it comes, yeah. you know, it's kind of a, there's a mindset change that we would need to have there. Um, I really want to see this demo in action, but before we get there, and we get there very quickly, uh, I'm, I'm imagining there's loads of standards that are currently being put in place just to make sure that we have the right level of security. And I'm just wondering, how are we involved in that? How is ST involved in that? Yeah, of course, because uh, there is some uh, specifications that are uh, under uh, the definition as of yeah. today. And we are part of the consortium who is defining okay. the security. <laughs> and, uh, and this standard uh, will aim to um, uh, guarantee the interoperability of smartphone and locks. Okay. So at the end, in your smartphone, you will have a, a digital key ring. Right, okay. And uh, you can work with any smart lock uh, which are compliant with this uh, specification. Okay, so interoperability, a key word there. You were talking yeah. to me earlier, there's a big difference between having different applets on your phone and actually having yeah. your phone having the feature. So, yeah. yeah. Because today, the technology, uh, when you have one smart lock lo uh, maker, yeah. uh, they, are, they have their own uh, application on the phone. Right. And generally, when you have an application, you need to create an account to register yeah. in order to make the binding with your uh, lock. Yeah. And if you have, uh, I don't know, you visit friends and uh, they have a different brand of a smart lock, yeah. you need a different applet and blah 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 you do the same yeah, thing yeah kind of user again. experience not great yeah. i guess was yeah okay so here by having a, a specification that uh, ensures an interoperability yeah uh, you can have a unique application on the smartphone yes uh, okay. to hold your One. digital key mm. that work on many uh, smart lock on. okay so and when you're saying keyring it's basically your your phone is the key Yes. Sort of like credit cards now, you know, we're using more and more our phones for credit cards. So yes, the idea exactly. is that that kind of shift towards your phone being your key. Yeah, why well. not the key? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I can buy that. So I'm sold. Okay, I'm sold. great. <laughs> I'm hoping somebody develops this very, very quickly. Um, now, into the demo. What's in this demo? What are we? What kind of components are we leveraging from ST perspective exactly? In the yeah, demo? so uh, in this demo, we are leveraging three technologies that we are making in ST. Okay. Uh, we have the NFC technology for the near field communication. We have uh, the secure element uh, coming from ST. Yeah. And uh, we have also the Bluetooth. Exactly. <laughs> ST Safe <laughs> is the secure element. Yeah. Like and we have the Bluetooth with STM32 WB, WBA. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, as a main controller and Bluetooth communication. 
Okay. So here, if I take uh, the demo, so okay. to, the door is closed. Yeah, just let's, let's prove that. Yeah. yeah, I can't get it open. Okay. okay. And I so just too easy. unlock my smartphone right. and just present in front of the door. Okay. And here, it's open. So wow. here okay. we are using NFC. Yeah, okay. okay, NFC for that one, okay. Yeah. So let's wait to close. So it's closed again. Okay, testing try. it again. Yes, yeah. okay, fine. And I can do the same with the Bluetooth. So I just press one button here, and here it's unlocked. Okay, so, okay. So, so all right. I mean, I'm here, I've got all my, whatever, my laptop bag, I've yeah. got whatever, I'm holding, maybe shopping, uh, I've got various just things. Just take the phone, press yeah. one button, and it's open. Oh. You don't need to... Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it just makes life a little bit easier. I'm not saying it's an essential <laughs> part yeah, of it, yeah. but it just, yeah. This is one use case, but yes. the other use case is, uh, we are speaking about a digital key. Yeah. So a digital key is something you can share with someone. Right, okay. And you can also have, um, uh, you can give some access rights to this digital key. Okay. That meaning you you cannot give a permanent access to the to your house. Okay. You can restrict the access to a day of the week, for instance, if you have people coming to do the housekeeping. Okay. So instead of giving a key and uh, they can access anytime, yeah. so when you're on vacation and so on, yeah. you can restrict the access yes. to uh, the really, uh, right. the period okay. of time they need to be, to be at home. Okay, so yeah, temporary keyword there. That's, uh, yeah. that's really handy. That is really, really handy. So, yeah. ST product names, let's go so through that very quickly. For the NFC, you have the ST25 R200, it's yeah. NFC reader. Yeah. You have the STSF A120 for the secure element. Yeah. And you have the STM32 WBA for uh, my main controller and Bluetooth. And Bluetooth, okay, okay. So all of all of those products can be found on ST.com quite yes. easily, basically. Yeah, yeah. Now, Let's say somebody, and I hope somebody is going to do this. Let's say somebody is going to develop this application and they want to maybe evaluate the products working together or they want to prototype even. Um, yeah. how, can they, how can they do that kind of with our development uh, boards? So today we have a proof of concept. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you can replicate this proof of concept by using the nuclear board. Okay. Uh, you can have the nuclear board for uh, STM32 WBA. You have uh, an expansion board for the NFC reader, okay. and you have an expansion board for the secure element as well. So you can stack them, you stack them up and you start yeah. to make your development. Okay. You can just play with the technology to see the security and so on. Okay. And next year, when everything will be uh, standardized, right. uh, it will become a reference design, and the reference design will be available on uh, ST.com. So this, something like this reference design here, yes. so actually form factor nearly... Yeah, the form yeah. factor, because if you take the stack, it's naturally a smart Well, board. it's quite, yeah, it's going yeah. to be quite big, but it's great to get started and get yeah, your, your software to get developed started, and everything. But yeah. from the stack, you can make a nice board like that with okay. a form factor of a smart board. Yeah. And for people who don't know ST, because I know there's a lot of developers who know about STM32 Cube, but yep. basically we have a huge uh, ecosystem for software yeah. and firmware and all the rest of it where you, exactly. you can download from ST.com, plug your nuclear board and off you go basically, yep. right? Mm. Yeah. So, um, I think we've covered everything, have we? Yeah. Okay, well listen, thank you very much, Ben It's been You're great welcome. talking to you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, you too. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks everybody for watching.